This project required 3D printing skills as well as PCB design knowledge and an understanding of Adobe Illustrator. The final product was an LED tester that required minimal setup by the end user with no soldering. The end product is more compact and more cheaply manufactured than other competitive options available online. First, EasyEDA was used to design a functioning PCB case. With SMT soldering in mind, EasyEDA was chosen as the design platform that allows for simpler adaptation of parts to the build. Using EDA, the board could be designed around the footprint of specific parts instead of having to choose parts that fit your design. With price being top of mind for this build, many measures were taken to limit costs. This included uh, reducing the number of screws holding the PCB in the case from 4 to 2, as well as choosing parts based on price comparisons. In the end, the price for each LED tester is around $10.33 per unit. This is with a 15% margin of error. For the PCB, parts were compared with several characteristics in mind. A clean look for the PCB, good ergonomics and reliability, as well as a small footprint and a reasonable price, determined by comparing different brands' prices for each part. Ergonomics was also a consideration for the button on the LED tester, ensuring that it had a good click to it and was comfortable to press. A major consideration for the whole project was an easy assembly for grade 10 students who received the parts for the LED tester in their kits. With that in mind, all soldering of the PCBs was completed by JLC, and the barrel jack adapter purchased for each kit came with pre-soldered leads. Therefore, the only assembly required by the end user was attaching the leads of the barrel jack adapter using screw terminals and mounting the PCB in the acrylic top to the case, both attached using nuts, bolts, and standoffs. Parameters were used in Fusion 360 to allow measurements to be easily adjusted and changed without having to edit the actual model. The case was designed to have eventually be manufactured using resin 3D printing for lower manufacturing costs, meaning that the case needed to be designed with nut pockets as heat set inserts cannot be used with resin 3D printing. Nut pockets were set into the base of the case to allow for two bolts to be mounted with the bolts being inserted from the top and attached to the nuts on the bottom of the case. The rounded corners were also used for a cleaner look as well as 3mm thick balls to allow for an extra sturdy build due to the long desired life of the products.